How you doing? Welcome back once again. Passing from Tom. This is a quick little video for you. <clears throat> Actually, it may not be quick, maybe a little bit longer today. But I'm talking about, you know, if you're here in the US, you may have heard you gonna you might get a bonus. Okay, you might get a bonus depending on your income level. And it was going through Congress right now. But I'm gonna talk to you about what to do with that money once you get it. And I'm gonna have a couple of my friends I follow on YouTube talk about what they would do. <clears throat> so stay tuned, I'll be right back. <music> If you haven't seen, you know, I'm sure you've seen it. The market's going crazy right now. Markets are going crazy. Places are shutting down. Businesses are only having, you know, takeout or, you know, delivery service. And that's really been about it. <clears throat> but, you know, if you're having a part-time job as well, you know, this bonus coming in from the government could really help you out. And I'm going to tell you about, you know, you don't want to go and waste it. You don't want to go buy a crazy car. You don't want to go buy and splurge, go shopping and all that. You know, really, you really got to think about it. You know, this is a perfect time to do it because you won't get this money for at least another month or so, give or take. So I'm gonna, I could easily go and tell you what I would do, but I'm going to give you some other advice from some experts here on YouTube, you know, what they would do. You know, I spent a lot of time yesterday going over this and deciding, you know, picking out pieces that they've talked about in their videos and you know i'm going to break it all down in about you know maybe 12 minutes give or take you know so just pay attention listen in because you might gain some ideas that you could really use it's not all about just paying off debt there's more things than just paying off debt so right so <clears throat> here it is all right the first one from ryan Schribner. you know if you haven't checked out his channel check it out he brings a lot of great ideas um, but the first one he's really laying out you know what is your current financial situation you know, it's, sorry about the wind, it's kind of windy here today. But what is your current financial situation? You know, do you have a lot of debt you gotta pay? Do you have a lot of bills? Um, are you currently an investor? You know, where are you at now? And are you, you know, really, are you gonna lose your job? Are your, your hours gonna be cut back? So you really gotta think about it, you know, figure out what you wanna do with that money, because it's really gonna pay a big part in what you do with it. Um, but if you do have debt, you know, that's really the second one he really pointed out. You know, pay off these, these debt, pay off the debt, you know, because this debt is only going to accumulate. So knock off this debt, and that's a lot less things you got to worry about the next month or so. All right? So knock it off, knock it off, pay it off a little bit. Um, oh, I know $1,000 or whatever you may get, it may not pay off a lot, but it will help out. And so there's probably less you got to pay the next month if you're not on a regular schedule. If it's like a credit card bill, you might have to pay less for that for the next month. Uh, the next one, if you're, if you're really good on your debt, you know, invest in the stock market. The stock market took a nice little correction this week. Um, it's off, you know, a lot of stocks decreased off from the highs from this previous month. You know, we're at record highs a month ago, and now we're <coughs> seeing stock levels that haven't been seen since almost 2008, 2010, or whatever. But a lot of them had really cooled off a lot. So this might be a good time to put some more money into your stock market. If you have an IRA, it might be a good time to put some money in, in your IRA. You know, you can, <coughs> if you're really good on your income, you go to your job, don't really have to worry about it for the near, near time future. And then if you're really good on what you're doing for stocks, investing and everything, then you might want to take a portion of that, if not all of it, and speculate. You know, you can go in gambling, you know, hopefully, you know, you can 10x that your earnings, uh, put it in the cryptocurrencies, um, which is honestly, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my money in the cryptocurrencies because I think you're going to see a nice little boom in cryptocurrencies as compared to the stock market in the very near future. So that's my not financial advice, as you know. Uh, and the last one, you know, index fund. It's safe, secure. Uh, everyone seems to recommend this one, you know, Vanguard S&P 500. You know, Tony Robbins mentioned in his book, uh, and as a uh, money, you know, master your money. I think that's what it's called. I'm slipping my mind, but I read the book. It's a, you know, simple and easy. It has low fees. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, the Vanguard S&P 500 is very easy, easily uh, to invest in. Keep your money, and it really just follows the market. All right, you don't want to do anything crazy, but you want to stay conservative, but have your money grow over time. So check that one out if you don't really know what you're doing in terms of investing. Oh, I'm sorry. The last one, the last one he recommends is start an affiliate marketing job. You know, 
a lot of that you can probably deal with not as much probably won't require all a thousand dollars or whatever but it will get you started because you know a lot of people are buying things online today um you know say i want to buy something from amazon you can be an affiliate for amazon which i wrote about before um <clears throat> there's so many other affiliates out there you got to search, search it up and look it up and really you got to you know try something different bring in the extra little cash i'm not saying it's going to be easy but it could be something it could build up over time and help put more money in your pocket <clears throat> okay the next one you all know and love you know graham stefan if you haven't check out his channel as well uh graham lays, graham lays it out in six different areas you know and they're simple easy to do he doesn't really talk about debt he really wants you to make put more money in your pocket um, so first one he recommends is dividend stocks you know a lot of dividend stocks are out there if you don't know what you're doing with dividend stocks check out and look for dividend aristocrats um, i highlight some dividends i invest in and not all of them are really as safe so that some of them may cut off the dividend you know one month and just you know so you got to move on move on to something else but but if you don't know what you're doing, check out Dividend Aristocrats. But if not, check them out some of my previous videos where I talk about how I'm making, you know, almost 1,000, about averaging about 1,000 in dividend stocks. Uh, the next one Graham recommends is an index fund, just like um, Ryan recommended, you know, the S&P 500. I'm not going to belabor that, not going to go into any more detail, but uh, the third one Graham recommends is REITs, R-E-I-T-S. REITs invest in, you know, a lot of you know different types of real estate investing you don't have to own real estate directly but you can invest in these little it's almost like a stock but the stock invests in different real estate investments there's a lot of real estate investments out there um a safe one is you can reckon you can try o i don't i don't have any money in o but the, another one i do have my money in is nrz nrz is very popular something you can use put some money into and earn a return on it <clears throat> the fourth one graham recommends is bonds there's a lot of bonds out there. I don't really have a lot of, I mean, I've had bonds, the paper bonds, you know, back when they were popular back in the day, but there's a lot of bonds you can go and invest in, you know, you can probably search for it online and find a bond. If you're really, you know, close to retirement, it's probably good for you to put your money in bonds because it's safe, secure, it's gonna return your money back. Not at a high rate, but really, you know, pretty comfortable for what you may be doing or what you may need in a few years from now. Uh, the fifth one, you know, he recommends starting a YouTube channel, you know, a lot of people are starting YouTube channels. A lot of people are getting into it. Um, but if you do it, I encourage you, you got to be consistent with it. Don't expect overnight success. I've been on a YouTube, I've been doing my YouTube channel over a year. Um, it's a learning process. You're going to learn something new. Hopefully you, you'd like to learn because that's really what it's all about. You've got to learn and how to implement different strategies that work for you. Uh, find your audience and then just trying to build the platform from there. Uh, the last one Graham recommends affiliate marketing you know a lot of people like to buy things online uh, so, so check out affiliate marketing you know amazon has a has a program uh, a lot of other companies do but you gotta figure out how to get involved with that affiliate marketing pro, pro, um, platform and see which one works best for you you know a lot of times you don't need to go and buy items for affiliate marketing but you can go you can be a sponsor for them and then they'll, you'll get paid off for that uh, before i keep on going on you know, if you're looking for another, looking for a stock investment, uh, looking for a place to put your money in, check out Webull. I'm a sponsor for, for Webull. I don't get any paid any extra money out of it, but I'll earn free stock and so will you. Um, there's two ways you can earn for a free stock through Webull. One, you open up an account with them. The second one, you deposit money into the account. All right, it's very simple, easy to do. Um, this offer only goes until the end of the month. So if you're really looking for something different, if you're tired of Robinhood, tired of Robinhood crashing, check out Webull. I really encourage you to do that. Okay, next we're gonna talk about Jasper from Minority Mindset. This guy has a lot of a lot of energy when he talks. You know, his, his video is about 10 minutes, give or take each one. But you know, he tries to give you a lot of value, a lot of good things to know, a lot of good things you do because he's a successful guy. And having his YouTube channel, has people working for him as well. He was real estate investments and everything. But you know, the number one he talks about is you know, starting your own business because a thousand dollars isn't gonna really take you a whole lot. It's not gonna do a lot for you. But you want to have a you know a plan B because your business could because your plan A in the future. All right, so you want to have a start a business. There's a lot of a lot of things out there right now. I mean, you can start a YouTube channel. You can be affiliate. Um, start a business. You know, network marketing. There's a, lot, a whole lot of things out there right now. Uh, second one, he says, start a low cost business. You know, a social media marketing. That's one he recommends. You know, a lot of people, a lot of businesses out there. You know. A lot of them are older they don't understand 
YouTube, they don't understand Facebook, they don't understand Twitter and all that other stuff. But you know, you could be, since you, you understand social media marketing, you don't understand social media, you can be their, their guide, help them out through these times because a lot of people, a lot of these companies are gonna shut down if you're not really helped out in the, in the very near future, all right? So <clears throat> social media marketing is one you can do. You could probably charge them maybe $100, $200, $100, whatever it may be. But you could be their, their boss, help them out, you know, be their advertiser, help them out with affiliate market. I'm sorry, with, uh, with marketing. The next one, you can be start your own business, be a freelancer. You know, with whatever your skill may be, you might be good at writing, you might be good at cur- creating videos, you might be good at taking photos, whatever it may be. You can be a freelancer. There's a lot of things out there to do that. Um, you might have to Google it and find out what ways you can be a freelancer. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. So, like I said, I want to keep it short, right to the point. Uh, the, f- the fourth one, he says, if you're good in all that, you know, good in your business, and everything. The last one he recommends is start a low cost index fund, like the other two. Uh, YouTubers I mentioned said already, you know, like I said, the S&P 500, check that one out. <clears throat> good, good low cost and everything. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for all the noise right now. You might hear some background noise. Um, somebody's cutting their grass, so sorry about that. But hey, I got two more people to go over. Uh, Dan Locke. Dan is the next guy I want to talk about. This guy, he's all over the place. He's built an incredible platform. You know what I mean? He's really dominating what he's doing right now. But he gives a lot of valuable advice just about every day on his uh, on his on his page. But uh, he recommends with a thousand dollars what you should do. Uh, first of all, I said don't blow it. You know, don't blow it. Don't go out and have a, a party with all your friends and everything. Don't go out and shopping, buy all these clothes and everything, uh, unless you unless you really can afford to do that. But if you can't afford to do that, you really think about what you're going to do before you go and blow it. You know, um, like the other guys have mentioned. You know, open up an index fund if you don't have a retirement account. Um, simple, easy to do. Uh, if you have debt, he said, you know, it's not really a debt problem. He said you have an income problem because your income is not be able to afford the debt you have. So you really got to uh, sit back and think, you know, do you have a debt problem or do you have an income problem? You know, really, you shouldn't have a whole lot of debt or really almost no debt. You know, you really want to get out of debt. That's really what it's all about. I've talked about that previously in my other videos. You know, check out, I've talked about um, Dave Ramsey. <coughs> Lays out some good ideas, some good points on how to get out of debt. Uh, the fourth one, the last one he really mentions, is invest in yourself. You know, invest in yourself. Perfect time to do it right now. You know, <clears throat> whether you need to do is spend some time learning, uh, spend some time improving yourself, work on your public speaking, uh, go find a Toastmasters. I'm sure a lot of communities have Toastmasters. That's pretty much a free, <clears throat> not, not, I'm, so, I'm not saying it's a free area, a free place to do it, but you're surrounded by a whole lot of group of other people who want to improve their speaking skills. You know, Toastmasters, Google it for your area, your city. You may find a couple in your neighborhood and they may really help you out. Spend some time to work on your, your public speaking skills. Uh, next one he recommends, you know, personal development, work on your personal development skills. Maybe you need to read a book, find a motivational video, something, you know, really to work on, some skills you need to work on. <clears throat> if, you're need, if you're working in sales, copywriting, or, you know, creating a workshop, you said you can do all of these as well. A lot of different ideas to do. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, as I mentioned, but there's so much you can do. Because a lot of people are looking for these skills you may have and possess. So really work on that and really try to help you out and try to change things and really help you get this little storm we're going through right now. All right, and the last person I'm going to talk about is Joseph Ho. You know, he, former analyst, um, for, former <coughs> work for um, involved investing and everything. But now he really does everything. He teaches things online, what you need to worry about, and how to invest. You know, a very smart guy. I really encourage you to check him out as well. He re- lays out just three areas you need to talk about if you want to get what to do with this thousand dollars. You know, first, invest in stocks. You know, put everything in the stock. What you're investing in now. Find out what works for you. What you're comfortable with. Uh, I recommend you looking at checking out dividend stocks. Uh, the next one, if you want to buy, if you want to be, you know, own property. You know, if you want to own property. Uh, but if you might not have enough money with a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, whatever. But another way you can do that is invest in REITs. You know, invest in REITs. Open up a fundrise account. Um, I'm looking to open up a fundrise account, but not yet. It might be another month or two, give or take. But check out the, those two areas. You know, REITs and fundrise. You know, you don't need to own the building, but you invest in these companies, and these companies will invest in properties for you on your behalf. And the last one. <coughs> You know, a lot of, some people say bonds, but he doesn't recommend that. He recommends to put your money into gold. You know, gold is not 
it's not blowing up right now, but I think it's gold will blow up in the next year, year or two. And so you will see money in, coming in the future. So you don't have to go, you can own the, the physical gold itself, you know, buying, buying the gold, uh, you can own uh, gold bars or whatever it may be. Or you may just want to invest in an ETF. Look up a gold ETF and I'm sure there's a server out there. And you know, I encourage you to check it out. You know, I'm not gonna go give you any advice on what to choose and recommend, but these are some different ideas I laid out um, so it's all about you. What do you want to do? What's your current situation? You know, do you take put food on the table? Do you help feed your family? You really got to think about a lot of things you got to do because, <clears throat> I mean, this thousand dollars or two thousand dollars is not going to be around forever. You're going to buy blow it within the next month or two. But really think about whatever you want to do with this money because this money will be gone before you know it. All right. And if you're going through this coronavirus thing, I encourage you. I encourage you to be safe. You know, <clears throat> I encourage you to you know take care of yourself, take care of family. Uh, try to um, <clears throat> try not to go and hang out and party with your friends and everything like some people are doing in Florida. But you've really got to be safe and secure. I mean, <clears throat> this virus is, you know, it's not as bad as the flu, but it is bad because there is no cure for the, this right now. I mean, yes, there's some things doctors are working on, but <clears throat> maybe they'll come up with a cure pretty soon, and hopefully they will. But you really don't want to test your life over this. I mean, you know, hunker down in your, your place you know, order takeout or whatever you want to do. And, you know, just, you know, be careful what you're doing right now. You really want to be safe, secure, but, you know, make sure you do the right thing with this money, you know, because it could be, it, this money could put more food on the table for you. I don't know. Or you could might want to use it as an investment or create your own side business, your own side hustle, all right? I hope I gave you a lot of good tips and ideas out of this. But if you have any questions, comment, leave me a comment below. But, uh, you know, enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your weekend. Uh, take care. I'll see you again.